Well, hello. Welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you made it. Glad you stopped by. We just celebrated our 1,000 follower, which was great. Now, I did notice that whenever I post things that are not about Chili, they usually don't really get as many views. And I understand that. I completely understand that because, you know, a lot of stuff, you know, people like to see that. I mean, you know, I'd like to start getting into it. And anyways, I, I want to talk about something today that's a little bit a little bit more serious in terms of my health which that reminds me i gotta take insulin we'll get to that so a little over a year ago i had the surgical weight loss sleeve and i did really good i lost 70 some pounds i got under 300 pounds i think at my lowest it was at 294 that was the smallest I've been in years. Now, my ideal weight is anywhere between 225 and 250. That's usually my ideal weight. Because I'm a, I'm a big guy to begin with. I'm really thick boned. And I just look really weird if I'm super skinny. And there are, you know, there are some pictures of me in middle school, which, you know, I was still a big guy, but I was way skinnier. And I just look funny being skinny. I, you know, I've always been a big guy. And I like to remain a big guy. But... I got screwed up, and it's nobody to blame except myself. I'm back on insulin. You know, I, I got up to 333 pounds. This was a couple months ago. And today I stepped on the scale, and I'm at 315, which is crazy. I don't know how I'm losing weight. I'm not eating nearly as much, but the shit I'm eating is really bad. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you eat a lot of donuts. You know, I like to go to Sonic and get a Route 44 slushy. It says it's sugar-free on the syrup, but it's not. It's still 150 grams of sugar. And I'm just, like, down in these things like water, which I need to drink more water. And it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. And I kind of feel right now is a good time to just come out and be like, hey, I screwed up. I screwed up royally. I really, really screwed up. My health is in really bad shape. You know, clothes are starting to get tight again. Even though I'm losing weight, I'm still getting fluffier. It's weird, right? But I kind of want to fix that. I do want to fix that problem. And I keep on saying, hey, I'm going to lose weight, but I don't. I, I, I'm like... Okay, I'm going to do good today. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I love donuts. Fuck. But I do that a lot. But I've been watching some YouTube videos lately. That's kind of got me... Um, it's got me, like, wondering maybe it's something I can do to push myself hard. Like, not hard, but push myself to a goal that's really it'd be really significant see i get married here in october and i did this thing this morning with a company called noom i just fill out some information and i i didn't sign up for it yet and it says if i follow a certain thing and it's not one of those you know you go out and uh get the meals and stuff it's it's a psychological thing says by January, I would be able to lose, you know, get down to 249 pounds. I don't know if that's possible. It's, it is possible if I, you know, really push myself. You know, I'd like to get down to that by the wedding, but I don't know if that's going to happen. The wedding is in October. You know, we've got five months. I don't know if I could lose 10 pounds a month. You know, well, actually it'd be... 12 pounds a month yeah something like that and i want to do this i want to i want to lose weight so i can look good for the wedding but i also want to do it for me my fiance and everybody else i want to be healthy i don't want to die in four years be like well you're a fat guy you're um you screwed up you have a bad heart you have severe depression you have diabetes you have breathing problems you have sleep apnea that's bad. It's all bad. It's really bad. It's terrible. And a lot of people know that. And I know that. You know, I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, 
Damn, you are not sexy at all. You're kind of cute, though, but you, you're not sexy. You're just a little bit cute on the fluffy side. And, yeah. <laughs> but there's something I want to do. There's something I really want to learn to do. And I, I'm thinking about it, thinking really hard about it. I'm thinking about learning how to box. Like, boxing. Like, actual... I know this is a big thing right now. A lot of YouTubers and stuff's like, hey, let's... Let's get in a ring and fight for some reason. I don't want to fight somebody. I just want to be able to be healthy and maybe kick somebody's ass if I have to. I've never been into a fight before in my entire life. Well, I mean, I've came close. I've done some things that very questionable when it comes to going after people. I'm one of those people, you can only poke me so long to a point where I just snap. I, I've never hurt anybody, aside from myself, but I've scared people. I scare myself when I get pissed off. I don't like to get mad. I hate it. It scares me. I, sometimes I black out. I, and I say some really bad things whenever I'm mad. And I mean, stark raving mad. And it takes a long time to get me out of that, you know, out of that. Like, you you really have to calm me down. Like, and it takes a while. And, I'll, and you know, it might take hours. And, you know, my blood rate, my blood uh, just pumps, my heart, you know, rattles, and I shake, and, you know, I say stupid, ignorant things, and I hate doing that. But I kind of want to channel, like, that anger. I want to channel health and anger together. Does that make sense? Kind of like a smart hawk from uh, Endgame. You know, I'm... Yeah, I could be strong and smart at the same time. Maybe that'd be something to look for. But, but the ultimate thing is I want to lose weight again. I want to get back down to at least 250. And I would like to actually get to the point where I can go. You know, I want to go to the gym, but I also want to learn to box. I want to be able to defend myself. And I think it'd be good. I think it'd be great to learn how to do that stuff. And maybe have fun along the way. Well, and what if, hey, maybe a YouTuber wants to box me. Well, I'm not boxable yet, but I'll learn how to box, and maybe we can box. I see that my favorite YouTuber of all time, Boogie29888, he actually accepted a boxing match. And it kind of made me think, hey, if he is able to step out of his comfort zone and do that, Maybe I can too. Maybe, you know, maybe, you know, he's got the same problems I have, but he was a whole lot more worse off than I was. You know, he had the surgeries, you know, and lots of people run over top of him, shit like that. And I was like, you know, that would be kind of cool. Maybe that's something I can work towards. Um, you know, we talk about Sweetie, um, which this is funny, guys. Sweetie still has yet. Sweetie has still has yet. To reach out to that promoter to accept that fight with Chad. It's an, I, I have a feeling it's not going to happen. He's going to run away. I don't know how many times Sweetie has asked people to fight him. And not go through with it. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm thinking this is going to happen. And Sweetie, you better fucking do it. You know, you're, you're all talk but we we need to see this stop being a pussy and accept it but anyways that would be kind of cool to get to the point where i could be like hey sweetie you want to fight another person here i am you know it might take me a while to get to my peak strength and you know you might be an mma uh champion you might be a professional but maybe I can uh, learn how to wrestle. Here's the one thing about it: you, you, I, I don't fight. I don't. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not a violent person. But you know, you can punch me in the face. You, you better hope you knock me out because I'm going to keep getting up. You know, I'll let you punch me as much as you want, but you better hope you knock me out because I will not give up. I won't until I'm knocked out. I will not give up. I'll keep getting up. I'll keep pushing until you knock me out. I will not give up. 
yeah, I might be afraid, like, when it comes to it, like, uh, I don't want to, nobody wants to fight. I mean, I'm sure people are, but I, honestly, I, I, I probably would suck at it. Honestly, would I? But I would like to try, like, well, learn how to do that stuff. Um, there, there are some places um, in the area where I had they teach jujitsu, and you know, I, I, I went to a jujitsu class once, and it was interesting. It was very interesting, and you know, I, I would just like to get healthier. I want to live longer. I want to look good for our wedding. I want to look good in clothes. I want to be able to live longer. I said that already. I don't want to be on insulin. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't. But I, I would love to ha learn how to box. That'd be something pretty cool to learn. Like, just to say, hey, I, you know, even if I don't use it, you know, I, at least I know how to do it just in case I ever have to use it. It'd be kind of cool. So... I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I, I think it'd be kind of cool. Honestly, I think it'd be kind of cool. Maybe you guys can give me some of that push to lose the weight. My fiance, she, you know, she tries and I, I should listen to her. Honestly, I should listen to her a whole lot more than I do. Um, you know, she's worried about me. You know, I'm worried about me. Um, and it just sucks. It just sucks. I want to be in a better place, so. Guys, thank you so much. Let me know what you guys think. Should I learn how to box? And what do you guys think? You think I can possibly lose the weight by January? Maybe lose 50, 60 pounds by January. I doubt it. Maybe, maybe on in May. By May, I can. I mean, that's a long time. It's a long time. But maybe I can get there. Maybe I can get down to 240, 250 pounds. Be at my goal weight. I just want to bulk up. Not fat, but muscular. I want to be muscular and I want to be able to box somebody's face off if I have to. What do you guys think? I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys continue to watch these videos. I know that you guys like the chili stuff more than my regular stuff, but um, I, I, I just am happy that you guys still watch it. So thank you so much.